Bob's Playground! Hooray! Who remembers the BJ and Bill show all those years on Oldies Radio? Many have told them they missed the show. Well, now they're back. Only this time, it's BJ and Bill, the podcast. I mean, everyone has a podcast, right? Just two guys talking about the good old days, life, and what it's like getting older. Subscribe to the BJ and Bill podcast now. <laughs> the Podcast Playground. Hooray! Hey, guys, what's the difference between a used tire and 365 used condoms? I don't know, what? Craig. What is the what? difference? Well, one's a good year, the other's a great year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Welcome to the Big Bad Broadcast, dude. Good afternoon and welcome to the Big Bad Broadcast here in hot as hell, Florida. I'd like to welcome our guys from the show. We got my grief. Where it's just slightly fucking cooler than hell. Not really, though, but fucking 104 degrees here today. Nice. And we got Craig Mitchell. It's 87 here, and I'm just fine. 87 degrees. 87. Fuck you. 87. 87. <laughs> 87. It's, uh, 87. It's... I was born at 87 it's degrees. It's so hot out. Oh, oh, you remember so when John, Johnny Carson used to do that? I remember one time they had a heat wave. I was watching it, and now this is—you have to be a baseball fan to get this. But he went, "It's so hot out." The whole crowd is like, "How hot is it?" He goes, "The California Angels' third baseman is Melton." And of course, <laughs> there was a guy named Melton on the team. And Melton, that was there you huge joke back at the time. And yes, Mike I'm is sure in the desert, really big where... in nineteen. 19th... Yeah, and Mike is in where the it's desert. Like fucking where... even even the even the cactuses are going fuck I this. Don't know. Will you let John get his line Does he out? just wait for me Go to ahead, talk John. to start again? <laughs> Go ahead, John. Let's hear it. Every time I start, he starts talking. I go, Mike is in the Go desert ahead. where it's a dry heat. Yes, it's a dry heat. We where freaking it's... die of dry. <laughs> so it's fire. You can make a leather out of my ball sack. It's so dry. <laughs> Don't try to turn me on. That's not fair. In Florida, it's, it's 93 degrees with a humidity of 180. <laughs> yeah. Well, they say we're going to get humid here in, in L.A. now. That It's going to get humid. So Who said that? I, Fucking hit him with a bat. I, the weather man. The weather man. What the, the fuck weather, do they know? The weather girls. It's the weather great. girl. I know. It used to be weather men. It used to be in the old days. It was weather men. Now you don't see a weather. Now it's, no weather the meteorologist. now it's the meteorologist person. Yes. Yes. Okay, everyone's got the a, meteorologist a... with kits. I, I mean, I'm sorry, Al Roker. Anyway, seriously, <laughs> man, I'm going to help. Al out. Roker used to I be the co host on Comedy Tonight. He, you know that? Al go. Roker, yeah, I thought that was Mark McEwen. Yeah, you're right, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> John's just spewing fake facts. Did you know that? Fucking not really. <laughs> they look Groucho similar. Marx once flew they a did kite look and similar discovered back electricity. Then. Yeah. <laughs> now, the only reason I knew that is because Mark McEwen was fine. Like so anyone kind of... knows who the fuck Mark McEwen is, please. Mark McEwen is That's one of the few people that I do know. <laughs> he used to be the weather guy for CBS in the mornings, and then he had a stroke and he had to retire. But he was oh, yeah. Well, I didn't he had know to that. retire. Cause he was so so anyway, it is fucking hot. What do you guys? I mean, any any big summertime? You know, we barbecuing. We doing what are we doing? barbecuing we had a barbecue here on sunday for my sister and her husband what did you make made oh we just made like i don't even know i don't remember because we got so trash drinking margaritas in the pool (laughs) pool. i just remember it was sort of a leftover sunday from the previous parties we had we had hot dogs on the grill we had pulled pork we had macaroni salad we had i don't know a whole bunch of stuff it was good but Chris started making these um, mango margaritas, Ooh. and I don't drink, and I got trashed. I got so you do trash. <laughs> mango <laughs> margarita sounds like a female wrestler. I know. Where's Jimmy Disney? Buffett? It sounds like a Jimmy Buffett mango margarita. It's a perfect did, pool drink. Did, did, uh, didn't you? Didn't you say that you were you were making? Um, did you have like tuna? Yeah, last night I cooked. I made. Um, Chris made bok choy. 
I love bok choy. Bok choy. And, and then is, that, we, is that a big barbecue fucking dish? Bok choy? No, no it's no, actually no, a we, first baseman for the for the Nats. For, for and the then I made choy. blackened sesame tuna. Whoa. I never knew you had such an elegant palate, John. Really? I'm very Tell good. With, I'm the king of fish. I can make any kind of fish. Move. He's Aquaman. That's who I he am. Is. I'm serious. I make. I mean, I got a fresh food market around the street from my house that supplies all the restaurants. And like while you're buying fish, the fishing boats come right in and they're carrying yes. huge, like three foot. You live and you're like a surfer, blocks. so when you, you surf, like, you're actually looking for fish. No, yeah, but I you understand. live like two blocks from the fucking shore. You could just go catch your dinner. Yeah, I would love that. I, I fresh fish out here. You don't get everything's frozen. It's terrible. Yeah, this is great. You gotta put it in your order the day before because the fish cutters come in at six in the morning, Damn. and then you can pick it up after eleven. So yeah, no. So I made this, and then um, I went and got some pickled ginger, which I love ginger. with it. Pickled ginger, ginger was from Gilligan's Island, right? Pickled ginger. Yeah, <laughs> you got drunk. She, she, got she drunk. was having the mango margaritas. And then uh, I bought wasabi in a tube that was so hot when you tasted it, it was like Ow. a gaping chest wound. <laughs> 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 you felt like you were sucking air, but you weren't breathing. I looked at Chris, <laughs> and she was like, "Oh no, oh no!" <laughs> and that was when it was mixed with the soy sauce on top of. You're it. not supposed to uh, eat it plain. You're supposed to. No, like it was it. mixed with soy sauce. I love That's wasabi. How hot it was. Let me, me tell you too. something, man. If you got stuffed up sinuses, man, you just take a little of that wasabi, put it, just eat it straight, just like that, man. It'll you'll cry for like five yes. minutes, but it's great. Just like you can car imagine, stalls, throw some in your gas tank, you're fine. So you can imagine what Steve O felt like when he snorted two lines on Jackass. Fuck, I don't Steve O was just I don't and now he's sober, but he's still fucking himself up. I don't get it. Yeah, he's making a fortune fucking doing it, man. If somebody Paid me a fortune to fucking put fish hooks through my nipples. I did fucking have nipple fish hooks. Did he? Re- did they do that? No, actually, I thought I saw one time when he put a, a, a giant hook to a guy's mouth on a boat and threw him what out like fuck? he was. Oh, like and he was it, that was Steve O. And they put him they in went, the water. Yeah, they went fishing with him. They fucking put a. Uh, what I the mean, hell come on. What are they doing? How insane do you? I mean, how about what? how about the fact that you know the expression "jump the shark," right? Yeah. So they decided the they were they decided they were going to act out "jump the shark." So they had a wakeboard covered with chum, and then they had a of sharks that they chummed in the water, and they had a little ramp. And the guy was going to jump over the sharks with the chummy board, and he fell on the ramp and got bitten by a shark. You know what? And then they made him come back in the last movie to face his fears and do it again. There you go. (laughs) That's that's Uh, when you're not you're not fishing with chum. You are chum. And somebody and told me that everybody aside from Johnny Knoxville gets paid absolute shit. A hundred dollars a prank. And Johnny Can't was be. the executive producer and he made all the money. Maybe uh, during the show, but not during the movies. There's no way. I don't know. I mean, and, I think in the first, I think that's why they did the movies because well, he had made know, so much money on the show. You, you know that what they happens? All so these, revolted. these guys get so famous that they make money on the side. You know, they make other money other than just, you know, I mean, they're all like, you know, well, probably Bam Majera got his own show. Yeah, Viva all, Bam. Well, there you go. Did you ever see that when they were so mean to Bam's dad? Did you ever see that? Well, they dug a big, like. they took a big trench, Mike, and they dug like a five foot by four foot deep hole, put a net over it and put sod over it while he was cutting the lawn on a ride in one mower. Oh my god. See, I don't I don't know because I don't really watch the show because I'm over twelve, but um <laughs> over twelve. <laughs> I, I, you know what, man? You know what? It's I, one listen, of those things where I don't know why you don't want to laugh, but you cannot. People, help it. people love it. People love that type of humor. I have never been a fan of, you know, like tricking that tricking kind of humor, the fool, oh, the, dude. or you the put, whatever. I don't know why. What's up, Bam? Put an alligator in the kitchen, a real alligator. His, his mother comes in and she loses it. Which is, oh, yeah, that was funny because she thought it was rubber at first. Then she goes, Oh my God, it's real. Now, I'll tell you one thing, and then we'll get off this thing. What he did was his, his parents went away, and they staircase. Wait, wait, how old is this guy? Wait, listen. Dad? How old is he? Wait, wait. Dad, he was the, like stair, the staircase faced the front door, and they took it, and they put a board on it and covered it with real yes. snow. Yes. And when his parents opened the door, he went skiing past them. <laughs> uh, you know, well, one of the cruelest things that would no Phil was heavy, way heavier than me, but he looks like me. Uh, you know, people say, "What celebrity do you look like?" I go, "Phil Majera." 
and people go, "Oh yeah, I guess so." But <laughs> the, when he they, he's trying to lose weight, and so they went to everywhere, every every place in town, bars, grocery stores, restaurants, and they hung up flyers with his pictures on it that say, "Don't feed Phil." Okay. Everywhere. I, what I want to know is who asks you what celebrity you look like? Well, you know, in, in the on the gay dating sites. That's on the gay they, dating sites. You look like any hot celebrities? Well, yeah, Phil oh. Majera. Hello. Well, here, yeah, then let's find Hello? out. John, John, what 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 do you, what celebrity do you look like, John? Well, not so much now, but when I had spiky hair right after uh, the big Lebowski came out, right. everyone thought I was John Goodman. I, I can definitely that. see that. I can see that. Okay. See, I don't I, think I, I've I ever looked like that. a celebrity. I don't know. What would you, would you, I, I, I don't think there's any celebrities that look like me, but uh, maybe there is. I can't think of any. Uh, I, I don't no, know. You, you're, you're, you're Mike. You do, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I, yeah. I mean, ne- well, if I, if I take off my glasses now, and this is certainly not a dig, I think he's a cool fucking ass actor, but he has. Burl Ives? Burl Ives. Oh, Ives. No. <laughs> John, you could be Thanks, more brolized than me right now. Thanks, Come John. on, John could be brolized. I can see you. I can see you as a snowman in the beginning of freaking uh, uh, <laughs> Rusty the Snowman. Yeah. yeah. No, but uh, no. The the one the one guy that I look like that is Russell Crowe. People say. No. Yeah, no, I see that right away. Okay, anyway, John, what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Russell fucking Crow. Russell, Russell, Russell Crow, yeah. They say I was like Russell Crow. He was fucking more like Hank the Parakeet. Hank the Russell Crow. I was just watching a Russell Crow movie last night. I was watching uh, Master and Commander, Far Side of the World. I love that movie. Uh, and you do not look like Russell Crowe, sir. Not then, but now when he's he's like three hundred fifty pounds. Maybe now. if they tied you to the uh, the bow of the ship and freaking, you know. Wow, Jesus! Oh, no, he I'm just now. gained a lot of weight. <laughs> he he, he is, did a movie, he he did heavy, a movie yeah? called Road Rage, where he look he's heavy. He got really heavy. I think he's lost weight now because he's doing something else. But you know, he's I think he's a great actor. My my favorite. He has two two. Well, a lot of my favorite movies. He uh, um, what's the one he did with um. The thing with the guy, you know. The thing uh, with the guy and the girl. No, the, the one with... where he's a boxer. Oh Ron... yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I know what you're talking about. I can't think of the name of it. Uh, uh, oh I yeah, Rocky. That, that was a Ron Howard. Three. That was a Ron Howard movie. No, it's not Rocky Ripoff at all. It's really good. And no, then, it's, of course, a beautiful mind. It's, it's based on a true story that the boxing yeah, movie. Yeah, it is yeah. about Jim Jim Brannigan. And yeah, he was Jim also Brannigan. in Les Mis. Well, I heard that was devastatingly bad. I, I, I never thought he was. Before. I actually thought he was good, and I'm a big well, Miss. He me, gets Russell Crowe is one. He's singing. he's one of the he's one of the greatest actors of all time in my book. Russell Crowe. I mean, I love him. He is in Gladiator, and I, and I look like him. Master at time. and Commander. He's made so many great movies. Maybe and, in a Funhouse Mirror. Maybe. Yeah. yeah okay, I can go with that. <laughs> Wait, let me. If I take off right. my glasses and you stand far you away, and I, glasses, cross, I cross my eyes and poke and both my eyes out. Focus. Oh, did you? Okay, I I got one for you, Mike. Do you ever see yeah. Breaking Bad or, or Better Call Saul? Yeah, uh, I've All seen. Right. Breaking he looks like Bad, Mike. Not... He looks like Mike if he turned into the yes. Hulk. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You could yeah. be Mike. Yeah, I could see. Yeah, Mike. yeah. If he if he oh, got old, you know, old like guy? bulked up and got got no, the guy used things. to work for the DEA, I think. Yeah, he looks like Mike. Oh, I know. No, no, no. He didn't. Uh, no, the Mike didn't work guy. for the DEA. He was sort of like an enforcer guy, right? Yeah, he was the enforcer for. Yeah, right. Yeah, he was like a cleanup guy. Yeah, he was great. That, perfect that job. Great. Perfect job for Mike. I mean, they there share the same. Yeah. <laughs> they share the. Same, they share the same line of work. There you go. So, John, didn't you have some summer summertime uh, interesting? Well, things? I was looking up the weather forecast, and I found this site that just weather, had like weather. crazy headlines that were kind of funny. I thought anyway, some of them weren't, but there's a lot of them. We can talk about them. <laughs> Forecasters call for weather on Monday. They're hesitant to predict snow. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. They they forecast weather on Monday. Yeah, they call for forecasters call for weather on Monday. Sunday will be oh. fine, but Monday you got to watch out because there's going to be weather. I guess there might be uh, some weather on Monday. Weather. I don't know. It's just crazy. Here's that's one for strange. you, the big baseball fan. I think this is supposed to say ambidextrous pitcher makes a debut, right. and it says amphibious pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a debut. Uh, uh, there you go, man. Underwater. Baseball. Maybe maybe he is amphi- maybe he is amphibious. Well, baseball goes Marlins. right along with the theme. Of fucking boys of summer. Boys of summer. Cows lose their jobs as milk prices drop. I wow. saw that. 
I friggin' saw and where that. do you go for unemployment, man, if you're a cow? Where do you go? Where it's you heartbreaking when a cow can't make uh, a minimum wage. Well, almond milk is getting so popular. <laughs> and uh, How the fuck do you milk an almond? Does anybody know? Seriously. Yeah, no, Little no, no, teeny you're gloves squeeze, and a stool. You're squeezing oh, tits. I don't know. <laughs> Little teeny gloves and a miniature stool. Well, you got to buy it a know. drink first. Come here, come here, Mr. Come almond. Here, Mr. <laughs> almond. You're nuts. Yeah. Miracle cure kills fifth patient. <laughs> you, you may want to look up the de definition of cure. Well, well what, no, what, I what mean, were they trying I mean, to if cure? He's dead, life? If, he's, if he's dead, he's cured now. <laughs> Here you go. Man accused of killing lawyer receives a new attorney. <laughs> man accused of killing lawyer. Receives new attorney. There you go. Oh man. Well, you know, I mean, I it's, it's like it's like I used to give you go walk in for the uh, this was a uh, going for a, a a pet shop and you just go okay can I have a can I have a puppy and it gives you the puppy and you throw it at the wall and can I, can I have another one? <laughs> Why would you throw a puppy at the wall? What's wrong with you? No, I would never throw a puppy at the wall. I didn't, who said that? You throw it. Fred, no, that's why you throw it into traffic. <laughs> no. <laughs> state, you know what? state population doubled by two forty. Babies are to blame. <laughs> Fucking babies. Well, I understand that as opposed to people moving into the state. I guess. Babies are just friggin' getting babies born. Babies are always there. to blame, aren't they? Aren't Could they? be a plot Listen, of babies taking over like Mike's monkeys. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I, or, you know what? You know what? I really, babies are to blame on airplanes. If I get on a plane and I see a woman come in with a baby, I want to leave. I want to just like, I'm done. I, I, I'll, I'll deplane right now. I'll walk. Who, Thank you. Who was it? The comic? He, I guess so long ago. He had the great job. He sat down on Letterman. And Letterman said, how was your flight from L.A.? And he goes, you know, I just slept. He goes, because I have enough airline material. He goes, the last flight I ever had was the worst flight I've ever had in my life. I sat next to a three-year-old baby that smoked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Mississippi literary program shows improvement. <laughs> oh wow Bre that here's a good one breathing oxygen linked to staying alive <laughs> oh, do you mean staying alive with that really bad john travolta sequel staying alive because i because oh. i'd be willing to stop breathing if i didn't have to see that movie ever again i think the heat's getting to my brain right now police arrested everyone on February twenty second. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. That was one and of course, in prison. And of course, Thursday is canceled. Thursday is yeah, no Thursdays. That's it. It's canceled. We can cancel Friday too, make it a four day week. <laughs> you you want to you want to hear something about about eight years ago? I, I was working a desk job, which I freaking hated. And for some reason I got really happy like at four o'clock on Thursdays. And some people go, why are you happy? I go, it's Friday Eve, man. It's Friday it's Eve. Friday. <laughs> so for the rest of the time we worked there, we never referred to it as Thursday. We referred to it as Friday Eve. And I thought I, in I invented that, but now I see a lot of other people say it. Have you ever heard that before? I don't know. I'll tell you the truth. When I was working any kind of job, it didn't matter because it was like, you know, th th they were all, I was, I was drunk for, I was drunk for the whole thing it's like because you know, the only way you know mondays mondays were the worst i mean how are you gonna like it's like just the most depressing thing in the world it's like jesus this is the first day and you i get the other five got, days in front of you the other well the other four or whatever but it's like oh yeah. my god how the worst gonna... job i ever had was i worked in this junk mail factory right where you would sit at a, a machine and then Stop like envelopes. 15 pieces of different junk mail would come down and then you tie them off and then 15 other pieces would come down. You tie those off and throw them in a, you know, like a big, like a garbage duffel can. bag, like a duffel bag, like <laughs> right. a big mailing duffel bag. Yeah. And it would be like, that would go on all day. And then one day they were stuck and it was winter and it was freezing. And my boss said, Hey, listen, I hate to do it to you and the other guy, but you guys are the biggest guys. We need you to load the truck. And we were out in this truck loading these bags of this shit and it was they were heavy and it was cold in the truck. And after we did this for five hours, a friend of mine that I worked with looked at me and said, 
you realize that we just worked for five hours and everything we've just done is going to end up in the garbage. <laughs> and the two of us just turned around and walked right off the job and quit. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a reality. Like, why are we doing this? <laughs> Oh my God! Those kind of jobs back then paid shit. And yeah, it was a do, like a dollar fifty an hour. Oh my yeah. God! I worked in a warehouse forever, and that's basically was shipping and receiving. And you know, then we'd have the season when they were doing the circular. So it was, that's what we do. Like you know, get them, bundle them, put them in those big mail section, like right. what they what they dumped on the judge's desk in uh, you know right. the fucking miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. You know, just. <laughs> That's all, man. I've, I mean, I was a manual labor. I've done it all. You named manual labor, and that's I've fucking done. I've driven your, trucks, okay, let's, loaded trucks. I think stuff. I worked with manual labor in the Bronx. There yeah, you he go, was a man. nice guy. Manual labor, man. <laughs> hey, did you bring the Did you bring the sauce today? They, so what, um, what was your weirdest job? What was your weirdest jobs? I had a job one. How about back then when it only paid a dollar fifty an hour? But if you worked in any kind of restaurant service, they could pay you a dollar forty an hour because they said they were feeding you. There you go. Oh, Speaking I of that, I had a that. I worked for uh, for uh, Gerber Baby Food regurgitating apples. That was a pretty cool <laughs> number. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I worked. <laughs> I worked with all of my surfer friends <laughs> at Times Square stores. Do you remember Times Square yes, stores? TSS, yeah. TSS. And we worked the front food counter, right? Because they sold hot dogs and hamburgers and all this stuff. And when it got really busy, a friend of mine, John Levy, who is no longer with us, but boy, the funniest guy in the world, he'd go over to hardware. I don't know if I ever told you this. He'd go over to hardware and he would get like, if there was five of us working, five mouse traps. And then you'd pay $2 each. He put your name on the mousetrap and he'd set it under the counter. And if you heard your trap go off, you'd have to pick up the trap with the mouse in it in front of all the customers and go, I won, I won, I won. I'm, I'm sure TSS then, stores loved you guys, man. You know, they hated us. And the worst home, part was man. I got the job because I went to visit one of my friends and there was a guy sitting next to me with this little pencil mustache like his little mustache and i'm going excuse me sir there's a caterpillar on your lip right <laughs> i'm doing all this stuff and then i went upstairs to meet the interview and the guy turned around it was a fucking guy oh boy with the caterpillar on his lip and he gave me the job <laughs> yeah, what do you know look at that and then my other buddy worked in pizza and there was a vent about 12 he worked, inches from he worked at pizza he worked in the pizza place at times at square pizza. store Oh. at pizza it was at pizza and there was donuts there was, that's what we call it nice. and anyway he uh there was about a 12 inch vent open window at the top to let you know the pizza air out the hot fumes and while we'd be working a pizza would come sailing across and crash land on the counter right and he would go like this whoops <laughs> it was just it was just the craziest life then my other friend he was working pretzels and um that's my dream pretzel, job pretzels, pretzels outside were three for a quarter hey right? come here pretzels three for a quarter and he was stealing forty dollars a night oh jeez <laughs> oh jeez i don't know i don't know if i've ever had any really strange jobs you know i mean i, I just uh stand-up comedy is probably the strangest job i've ever yeah. had my my strangest job i have two of them I, I at one point in the 80s i was working overnight so i was working graveyard so i could audition and stuff yeah and i got a job being a overnight desk clerk at a couple of motels mm -hmm. and i finally found one that was actually really good it was a short the explosion <laughs> blah, blah. the explosion but the, the one I, I got this one that was in massapequa and I interview for it, and they go, okay, so you're going to do this, this, and this. Now, you guys also, it was two of us. You also have to clean the rooms. And I'm like, uh, what's that now? They had no maids. Right. So not only we were the, and it was a short stay hotel. So not only did we have to do everything yeah. in the desk, but yeah, were, at, at, when somebody checked out, we had to go running into the room. We had to clean it. Yeah. Well, the hazmat I mean, suit, I hope. <laughs> yeah, there was like blood. There was piss, it, everything. And I, 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 I did I did the first night and then I quit. And when I went in for my check, the owner was a guy who had no legs and he was in a wheelchair. And he and I went with my friend because I was scared of him. And I went in and he he rolled up to me in the wheelchair. He goes, what you're late? You don't like the job, are you lazy? And he kept rolling the wheelchair and banging into my shins. 
Exactly. Like trying to push out my fucking cannon kept bumping into my fucking shit. And I'm like, just give me the fucking check. I'm out of here, dude. He goes, why? Tell me, tell me the truth. What are you too lazy? You too fucking lazy? You too fucking lazy? Yeah, oh, that, that's terrible. gonna make me keep the job because you're fucking good. Oh, terrible. Terrible. Back in terrible. the seventies, back in the seventies, me and my buddy went to Puerto Rico for the winter to surf. Right. And uh so we lived next to this guy who had been in Puerto Rico for like two years. <laughs> He was from California or Florida or whatever. And he was from Florida and he had long hair and he used to just lay in a hammock all day. And he'd go, we go, Hey man. And he goes, yeah, I caught my one wave this morning and came back, you know? And so one day he decided he needed money. So we got a job cutting sugar, <laughs> cutting sugar cane for $5 a day. Oh cutting my sugar God. Cane? Yeah. Jeez, sugar cane for sun, $5 too. a day. And yeah, this is in the seven. This is seventy two. All so. the sugar you can eat, though. Yeah, I was just. So anyway, say, we were just laughing. We're mouth. going. We're going. He's never going to make this. So they picked him up at eight in the morning, <laughs> and like ten thirty, he comes walking back. We go. How was your job? He goes. I quit. <laughs> we go. What he goes? You can't do that for five dollars an hour. I just went to the boss and go. You owe me fifty cents. Pay up. <laughs> Now, but what would your dream job be? If you could have any job in the world, I mean, besides what we do, surgeon. besides you really, you want to be a surgeon? You'd like to be a surgeon? Yeah. I mean, that's really? a pretty noble thing. I mean, you know, yeah. a healing, a healing, doctor healing. I want, see, I, want to be, I want to be a gay porn star. Yeah. <laughs> ring the bell. All right. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, no. I, I actually, I, I want to be, I want to be a doctor. I, I actually, you know, was pre-med so for funny. time. That's so funny. Because as a kid, I wanted to be a veterinarian. The wow. Little, wow. How was that gay, John? What's game of it? I just had an image of you and an animal. I didn't say I want to bang poodles or nothing. I said I want to help them. He said veterinarian, <laughs> not vegetarian. Yeah. That's when you ring the bell. <laughs> that's that's funny. So we all we all had ambitions of 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 being like of, see that look at that. And I thought you guys were such dirtbags. No, I, I have know, to I, change I, my opinion of you totally. I got, day, I'm, I got closer I, to my dream than all of you. Yes, you, you were a you medical were tech. tech. Oh, come on! I've walked by hospitals. Well, my I heard when my mom when my mom was in the hospital when she was having her heart problems, I was I was coming up with diagnoses. And the doctors would go, "Are, are you a doctor?" No, but they weren't not. saying it like, "Are you a doctor?" They're like, "They were serious. Are you a doctor?" I'm like, "No, nah, I, mean, I was just pre med. I I read a lot of books." That was my favorite. That was my favorite line and. Oh, it was you'll know the movie um grown that was the movie where the two of them were twins danny devito and uh and, and no, no 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 uh who that's the movie twins actually that's the movie twins yeah no 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 that's it's not twins. twins it's not like john's description what's the movie with no two well, let me i'll take a bit <laughs> Jay, john c Riley. Oh, step uh, brothers! Yeah, step Jesse brothers, Ryan. step brothers, step brothers. brothers, and and Will Ferrell. The favorite line is when he uh, when step brothers, Riley says to his dad, "It's all your fault. You never let me go into the family business." He goes, "I'm a surgeon." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you think my John C. Riley? It, it's not bad impression, though. I mean, I was in that movie. like Kermit you sound the like Frog. A, I was gonna say you sound like John C. Riley and Bl if you were in a blender with Kermit the Frog. Yeah, just give him just Kermit give him a doobie Frog yeah. here, man. All right, here, how about this one? Nice here's yeah. here's it's not one that, that easy being green. Here's one that goes without saying. <laughs> right, well, don't state, say it. <laughs> state draws criticism for. Bridge closure date Thursday or October. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they, they're giving themselves some leeway. There you go. Or is it freeway? Freeway. Some freeway. Federal agents leeway. raid Florida gun shop and find weapons. <laughs> and find what? Weapons. So now, wait, but in Florida now, you don't even need what? You don't need a permit to carry a weapon, right? You can carry a gun. You don't need a permit for. Are you. As long as you're 18 years old, you can right. walk into a gun store, say, I want that one over there. They will give you the gun. You walk so right out the they door. They don't even do no that in permit. Texas, right? I mean, Florida nope. is like the only place. Nope. Uh, so, is the, so is the gun unregistered? Can you kill somebody and they won't be able to trace it to you? Well, it's no, registered no, it to, to you. It registered and stuff. But, but you, it's, you don't need a permit. Right. Anywhere, or you else need... in the, anywhere else in the country, you need uh, a special license to carry a, yeah. uh, a gun. 
You can own a gun in a lot of states. I can buy a gun tomorrow. I can go down the street and buy. There's a gun shop, you know, a few blocks from my house. I can go buy a gun tomorrow. Probably have to wait uh, whatever days to get it. But to carry it in my on my person regularly, you need a special permit. Okay, my my favorite my favorite uh, Simpsons episode. One of the favorites is when Homer goes to buy a gun. He goes to buy the gun. He goes to the store. He pays the money. He goes, all right, Mr. Simpson, you'll have the gun in two weeks. It's a mandatory two weeks waiting period. Homer Simpson goes, two weeks? But I'm mad now. now. What if I'm going to shoot somebody (laughs) tomorrow? the The crazy part about it in Florida is it's a concealed weapon. You can have a concealed weapon. So you have to take the gun. Put it in the back of your pants and cover it with your shirt. I prefer that than the people who wear the AK forty seven. No, over their I would prefer. Really I would prefer seeing what nut job has a gun. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I, I don't prefer either. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I saw the scariest effing thing in my life the other day. I was well, walking, just I was... get rid of the mirror, Craig. I keep telling you, just cover it, put a blanket over it. <laughs> yeah, I did. That's a that's a, that's a second scary. Okay, Russell Crowe. No, uh, I'm never gonna live that down. Anyway, no, there, there was a <laughs> fucking I Russell. Found another, no, I found another Russell. Story. No, I like that. That, get, <laughs> that, that would be my drag name, Russell. No. Russell. No. How about this with a little bit of a story? Wait, Craig murderer, was gonna say something. Murderer says detective <laughs> ruined his reputation. <laughs> well, that's what. So is that Wait, OJ? The convicted that OJ? murderer has sued the detective who arrested him, saying the investigator ruined his good name in comments he published in the New York Times. The lawsuit was written in pencil. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, let me finish my story. I was on TikTok, all right, and I see now it's a it was it was from the back seat of an Uber ride, Uber or Lyft. I don't know what it was. The driver looked a lot like me. He had a mask on. He had glasses, gray hair. I'm like, and for a second, I went, is that me? Oh, no, it's not me. Okay. He's driving, and there was these two women in the back seat. And the one woman was was filming with the light on in the camera, so it was really bright. Right. The other one had, a, had like an automatic pistol, and she was holding it to the back seat of, of the driver like she was going to shoot him. And she's looking at the camera, and she's laughing, and she's moving the gun around. And the driver's driving, he's oblivious of course, to the I fact that what all she has to do is pull that trigger and he's dead. And it, mean, it, as, as, a, as a part-time rideshare driver, that scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, well, they, they should find and arrest this fucking dumb bitch. I wonder if they are. I, I, sh- I should have... Uh... Yeah, I mean, fucking smash your head and with a bat. I love people like that. They should be taken off the planet. Do you know Tizzy Ent? Uh, Tizzy Ent, sorry, he's. I, a, I see some of his videos, but he's too long winded. It's like you get these guys, long. you get these guys that are huge on TikTok, and they make and it's like I'll watch for three seconds, but it's like once they go, it's like I, I get, but, I got the attention span of a fucking flash cube. But what he's famous for is he's famous for taking videos like that, finding out who the person is, and getting the, and helping yeah. them prosecuted. So I was thinking about finding that video again and sending it to him. Seeing you should, you should send it and see if it can fucking find me. Because really, because really. you know when I drove uh, the past weekend, I'm thinking to myself, you never know who's in the back seat, what they're doing. You can't, you can't really see. You can't see, especially the seat in back of you. You have no. We idea. live in the world of fucking stupid, man. You know, social media has made morons, and it's it's like you know people think it's funny, it, and it's seriously. I mean, people have talked about this before, but you see a kid climbing up, doing something really dangerous, and instead of the fucking parents stopping the kid, they're filming it. It's like you you should fucking have that child. He should be taken away from you. You know what I mean? It's just <laughs> yeah. like the world is just fucking <laughs> stupid. I saw you one know, the other day. This guy is on the edge of a boat. I don't think it was. A, it wasn't a cruise ship, but it was a pretty big boat, maybe like a yacht. He has a toddler, and 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 the, and the caption of the video was "Father of the Year" with a question mark. Oh, He's holding God. the toddler. She had to be two, three, and she has those rubber, those inflatable uh, arm like, things, yeah, donuts things on her yeah. arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and he drops her into the water, and she goes right underwater. Wait, and were they the, moving? The two, huh? Was the boat moving? No, no, no. He drops her into the water, and she goes in, and the two, the two inflatable rings just are on the top, and she's gone. Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, it stupid is just fucking idiot. I saw one the other day where there was a three-year-old girl on this inflatable swan, right? With those things on her arm, two miles off the yeah, beach. Yeah, they're right. They had to rescue what? her. What? And the yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that kid had to paddle like she paddled or the wind or something that blown her. Yeah, the wind whatever. blew her out to two miles offshore. A fishing boat had to save her. Yeah, what was her parents girl. doing? Well, John, you were telling me, and I, and, I, and I heard about this this new trend, this fucking TikTok thing where they're jumping off of the back of the boat. Power boats, yeah. You get the boat going as fast as you can, then you jump off the boat. And they say once the boat hits like 20 miles an hour, it's like landing on concrete. Yeah, see, I'm all well, for of course. that. Let them, let and these four, people, four people in Alabama died. Yeah. Only in Alabama. And, and the yeah, IQ, but, was, and yeah, but the they IQ weren't on water, though, John. And there was no water. That, they just jumped off no, trucks. They yeah. jumped off the boat when it was on the trailer. Actually, they jumped They jumped <laughs> off the boat. And the IQ level in Alabama went up. They didn't realize the boat had to be in the water. It was on the way to the lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to these. Wait, listen to these last three because you're not going to believe this. He's, you he's, talk. Well, he's like a fucking hound dog on a scent. You can't stop, John. When he's on this a fucking funny. Thing. I know. He's, 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 got, he's got yeah, listen to these last three and tell me. Listen to these last three and tell me people, these people should have jobs. Oh. Utah Poison Control Center reminds everyone not to take poison. <laughs> That's good advice. Bugs <laughs> flying around with wings are flying bugs. Well, come oh. on. Who writes this? <laughs> I know, well, really. Alton attorney accidentally sues himself. <laughs> Voters to vote on whether to vote. That actually makes sense if you think about it, uh, especially with especially with gerrymandering, gerrymandering going on. Jerry who? Gerrymander. He used to play for the Knicks. Oh, he was right. Yeah. Gerrymander played for the Knicks. I saw. Uh, I saw. I saw a good movie the other day, man. Our boss was in. Fucking. Did you guys see Uncle Drew? No, Uncle Drew, no. it's that it's a basketball movie. Shaq is uh is, is in it. Uh, really? Oh, it's a good movie actually. I really actually enjoyed it. I was kind of surprised. I thought, well, let's see. But it's about these uh, old basketball players, and they were, you know, in at like like I guess it's supposed to be from the seventies, and they were supposed to be like the ultimate whatever. But street players, not professional guys. It, you got to watch it for yourself. It's actually a pretty good movie. And, and, and I Shaq saw was, the greatest TikTok about Shaquille O'Neal. I mean. And I, I actually debated whether to talk about it because it, it seems like it's, you know, self, it's, but it's a great Pand story. Like, seems like pandering. We love you, yeah. Shaq. Is it the one where the kid runs up and hugs him? No. What happened was he, he was, uh, he, he had signed a $40 million deal with Reebok and he was coming off the court one day and this woman started screaming at him. And what she said to him is like, yeah, shame on you, Shaq, shame on you. Make, why don't you make sneakers that people can afford? And Shaq actually had two thousand dollars on him, and he tried to give it to the woman so she could buy her son's shoes. She turned it down. She goes, "No, I don't want your money. I just want you to make sneakers that we can afford." Yeah, but how stupid is that? Shaq doesn't set well, the wait. price of sneakers. But wait, wait, wait. so no, what happened this is was pretty amazing. So what happened is Shaq canceled his deal with Reebok. A forty wow. million dollars. He started his own company, and he now sells shoes and so, the sneakers, and sometimes they're as cheap as twelve dollars a pair. Wow. Yeah. That's he's a, fucking he's a, awesome. You know what? He's he's just a. I mean, listen. We know he's never going to see this and whatever. But well, he, he may. He's an. He's a. He's a, from everything you see. He's just an awesome human being because I, you know guys with that much fame and money don't have to be nice. They don't have to. Exactly. But it's in his heart. Exactly. He's just a fucking. Yeah, there's one. Like there's a video story. that's going viral on TikTok where this little boy breaks through the security and runs up and hugs him by the leg. Yeah. And the security guy goes to grab the kid. And Shaq like looks at the security guard and goes, "You leave that kid alone." Yeah, <laughs> oh, I mean seriously, it wasn't it's a kid. So cool. It was actually me. That's just how tall he is. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. So summertime is here. They just caught a hundred and twenty-two pound python in the Everglades. A hundred and longest wow. one, the longest python ever caught, nineteen and three quarter feet long. If I, I if I caught him, I name him Monty. You know what the problem is? Is like everyone knows, it's an invasive species. They don't belong there. Monty and, Python. Uh, you there's know, nothing. There's no predator for it. No, the only thing that could possibly take it is the alligators, and they're probably actually growing big enough to kill the alligators. You know, the alligators are looking like going now. Thanks. The alligators, what? <laughs> pythons are cool because pythons are cool. But you know what? They all make you. They all make nice shoes, though. <laughs> Do pythons bite you, or is it boa constrictors that squeeze you? Pythons I mean, squeeze you. They squeeze you, but they will bite too. They have big fangs; they can they bite do. you. They have a huge head. Yeah, the head on this thing looks like the size of a shoebox. Yeah, but no yeah. pythons and and uh, the boa constrictors. They that's what are constricting. They they're constrictors. They constrict you. 
They yeah. can constrict you. Taking a little that... time out while I constrict you. There's two <laughs> things I hate: snakes and not breathing. I would hate them. Snakes and not breathing. Well, anyway, what's <laughs> going on is the shit. I'm gonna be. Oh, John, I'm gonna be in your neck of the woods. I'm coming. Um, I'm. I'm freaking summertime and i'm going to florida who the hell goes to florida in the summer in july it's a hundred and at least like i said it's a dry heat here i'm I gonna go there to florida where where the, where, where the air is made cheap, of liquid cheap people go to florida cheap people gotta, go to florida in the summer no, right? all the rates I'm, are lower i i'm, I'm visiting my see, mother I, and i am heading south i'm going to port st Lucie on monday for three days to an all-inclusive for a family reunion for my aunt's 85th birthday. Well, what I want to know is when I get off the plane in Florida, can I just like, you know, being like in cat, can I just rent? They should have like rent a gun there instead of like rent a gun, rent a car, and then like have a machine where I can just like put in a couple dollars, get a gun to carry while I'm in Florida. Oh, I thought you were going to see a machine gun. I thought you were going to do some heavy killing. So, no, no, I just like killing. It's too hot to do a lot of killing, heavy killing. I mean, <laughs> let's say you go to Florida and you're visiting and you buy a gun. How do you get it home? Will you have to mail it to yourself? No, no it's, it's the same can't. thing as if you go to New York and you, you want to, to buy a pot. You can't take it home. No, but what you do is you mail it to yourself. And none, I, not that I would ever do that. I just no. said that. Do you mail it to yourself or do you, or do you have to like take it apart and put it in your luggage? Well, it depends on where you gun. live. If you live here in California, why would you bother? You can just buy one here. Why buy it in Florida? Well, it's illegal. Guns... It's illegal to transport a gun between the states unless you have a permit to do it. Like a law enforcement, they can actually carry their guns on a plane. You put it in a locked case. They check it. Whatever you know. The, if you're a cop, you can carry your gun with you. Now I don't know. I guess you have to have a a, a way uh, to carry it legally in the state you're going to. But I, I don't know. These California guns are not great because all the, all the bullets are made out of kale. I don't like that. <laughs> made out of kale. <laughs> Actually, I don't really need a gun. I just like to push the bullets in by hand. Yeah. So talk, that, wait, talk about this stuff. And I know we're not getting political, but this I got to bring up. I mean, Ron DeSantis has made a statement yesterday that if he is elected president, he will federally outlaw all CBD oil and pot. He's well, a fucking it, idiot. It's never going to happen. I mean, you think you think Don Jr. is going to stand there and for allow it to you? Know, <laughs> no, he's not, he's not outlawing he, Coke. He didn't say <laughs> Coke. Coke. Was it you that said that thing of Don Jr. holding a big bag of yeah, Coke? Yeah, my, my, my kilo, kilo My kilo, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I love I it because they're making fun of like John Jr. I saw this clip where he says, he goes, he goes, geez, I could never get away with that. Yeah, no, come on, man. I'm sure this guy's so coked up. It isn't even well, funny. He, here's the thing. He's not going to be president. He's uh, so I'm, coked up. He thinks his dad is innocent. Ron DeSantis isn't going to be president. Trump isn't going to be president. You know, I mean, the only actually, and this sounds crazy, but the only one Republican I like is Chris Christie. I like Chris you know? Christie because he. I want to see Trump a debate. He's what Trump should have been. Trump said he's not like debating anybody. No, Trump. I would not, love but... to see. But I said, uh, even though I would love to see a debate between between Christie and Trump, he would destroy him. Destroy oh, him. Even, yeah, no, it's it's destroy like an un unarmed man, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but was, anyway, I, I mean. I yeah, agree. Chris I'm Christie. sorry, but I, I, I listen, listen. I agree. I just could, people listen, that Biden I, is, 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 we should have a younger, vital, more vital president. It's not that he's doing a bad job or anything like that, but I think the image of the United States. I mean, come on, we want to maybe in his fifties is a good fifties to sixty, a good age for a president. Biden is like really Obama. liked. Biden is really liked worldwide, though. Because yeah, but that's because he has. Years. He, yeah, yes, he's known he, him for a million years. Yeah, you know? that's because he's selling. That's because he's selling his son's. Well, porn. You know, he was in. He was in the Senate. You know that, right, John? He was in yeah, the Senate in Rome. In fucking Rome, he was in the Senate. In in, in, ah! in third. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he um. Toga. Toga. Yeah. Okay, with Marcus what I don't Aurelius. understand. Listen, what I don't understand. Where it's like. I don't understand okay, this. It's, that it's if I before E, except after. No, no listen, I don't understand this. If Trump is indicted three times, right? right? It's going to be like indicted, or indicted four times. They're saying that if he were to be elected, all these charges go away because you can't indict a president. 
That's a bullshit. It's just tradition. There's no law that says you can't indict a president. You can't convict a president. You can do all of that stuff. These are just standing rules. And you know what? The last yeah, it's like, it's proven... like an unwritten rule in baseball. You yeah, really... but, it's, but the last yeah, few years have proven thing. that all of this bullshit that we used to, these these little non-written rules, no longer mean anything because everyone's breaking them left and right. I'll tell you something. If by chance he does become president, I I, I can almost who you, guarantee. Who, DeSantis or Trump? Which one are you talking about? Trump. Uh, the, the the you know and and we get control of the Senate and the House. We if, if the Democrats get control of the Senate and the House, they'll impeach him and they'll they'll vote him out, and then he'll be indicted. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get that far. I don't. I I I think that the majority now of e even some of the people who voted for him prior are not going to vote for him again. I'll tell you the truth, man. I'm just living my life. I ain't. I I. We don't want to in the. Whatever I used to be all mad about politics. I don't give a shit anymore. I'm just living my life. All I can do is I can go vote when it's time to vote. I can't control anything else. And but you know the, what? It my, is? We live, we live in is. California. We're 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 protected by California is a very progressive state. John is gonna, you know, they're gonna John they're, can't have an abortion. <laughs> John can't, you know. <laughs> I know. I don't think but he, he can look, carry a John. gun and but he can carry a gun in his pocket. If you myself. can't see John, you guys can't he see can't John right now. <laughs> our our listeners can't see John right now, but he's wearing uh, what, what kind of glasses would you call those? Glasses? Just picture I mean, John Goodman, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, well, these, are my, glasses, these are my reading glasses. They, but they look like almost like Clark Kent glasses, only they're blue. I think. Like, yeah. I can't really see the color. Right, so right. Cool. You look so much like you should be on CNBC. <laughs> or or CNN right now, like you're like you're sitting there doing research for them. You really do. You look like a pun, you look like a pundit. You really do. A pundit. A pundit. <laughs> you, you need to change. Head. You need I'd to change. Head, if you will. I'd you fucking hit a guy if he said you that need, to me. Now you, you need look to change like a my pundit. picture for the icon. <laughs> well, say again, John. Now you need to change my photo on the icon thing. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Get, take a picture with the and we'll do it. We'll we'll That's change. But we should change all our pictures on it. I I don't have that fucking beard down on my knees anymore either. Well, give me a picture. I mean, you know, give me a picture. Yeah, How picture, about in front of the skulls you had? You take a picture in front of the skulls. Hey, listen, listen to this. I just read this today too. DeSantis. They say every time he does one of these events, he okay. loses voters and money. I mean, Every time a... people meet him and listen to him talk, they go, yeah, I can't vote for this guy. <laughs> so now he has his wife out on the trail and he's canceling his personal appearances. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I, I, I don't, think 2024 I... is going to be the wackiest election in history. I just do. But what, I mean, so this is my fear, all right? Like we're saying that, you know, Trump doesn't have a chance. Tell me your fear. If Trump man. loses, if Trump loses... Does yeah. all the shit start all over again? No, because who gives a no. shit? Why does anyone care? Of they course it want, does. They can get all, all they want. Nut... Oh, this is a story. He's going to get all the nutbags okay. all wild up about it being yeah. a hunt. And yeah, it's but, but, be the another... last night, but he's got four indictments gonna, soon going to be. All these indictments. He's Something's you happening. You know what? Nobody's paying as much attention to these nutbags. They realize that it's a friggin'. You know what? Do you think Trump is gain? Look, how many people voted for for him in the uh, Biden won by seven million votes? So Biden had eighty three million. What do you have? 70, 70. Uh, 70. 70 something million vote. Do you think he's gained any voters since then? I, I guarantee no, you, man. No, no, he's lost a lot of fucking people. I don't think. Yeah, has Biden I think, lost any. Well, you know, whatever. Like I said, you know, it, I don't respect that, either that, party. Once again, you their have to plan the is going to be, mark my words, their plan is going to be the Republicans to pay to put a third person in to take votes from Biden. Now, if anything, that it's third person take votes that, from... they say would be Kennedy. Yeah, but everyone knows that he's not a Democrat. He's a fucking Republican. Why, can you ask me, why does Robert Kennedy Jr. sound like Catherine Hepburn? Say, like, well, I'll tell you the real the secret that we need to do at the White House. <laughs> I know it's nothing the about him. The I know, Nunes, Norman. I mean, I know nothing about him. No, he talks like that. I don't know if he has a if he has Parkinson's or if he has MS, but he talks sounds like, like he's got a bad sore throat all the time. Yeah, it's like oh, yeah, I'm not, it, he sounds like, but he's like a big conspiracy nut, right? Yes. Yeah, he's just fucking, and he's an anti-vaxer. Oh, perfect. <laughs> You know, hey, I, listen, you I don't worry about the son anymore. of Robert you know, Robert Kennedy Jr. You would be pretty. Is he related to the Kennedys? He's yes, Robert he, Kennedy he's, Jr.'s he's, son. He's, 
It's yeah, Robert. Uh, you know, he's I told his, you, I don't know anything about this guy. Fucking Robert yeah. Kennedy had like first, 14 the first kids family and, in the United States. The no, I know that, but I didn't know whether he was because he's so out there. All I've read is how out there he is. Well, how sane can he be? Think... They were raised by Ted Kennedy, weren't they? All his kids weren't they raised by Ted because the other ones were all dead. I, the I dead Kennedy drowned, didn't they? <laughs> they what lie. can you say? As Otto said, that Rose Kennedy owned a black dress. Wow. <laughs> you know my you know the old joke, right? When 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 Arnold Schwarzenegger married Maria Shriver, they go they they go, why why did uh why did why did Arnold marry Maria Shriver? They're trying they're trying to breed bulletproof Kennedys. <laughs> God. That's the, uh, fucking he really man. wanted to run for president. I read all the article. He can't yeah. He can't because he's not natural born citizen. No, but you know, if you want to take another muscle man, like I said, I always say the rock, the rock could win the presidency tomorrow. Yes, That's how stupid I agree. Americans are. I'm not sure after after Black without Adam, even knowing sure one without to. even knowing one of his political beliefs, he could be elected tomorrow. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. That's how stupid you, every Americans address, are. Every address would start with, I'll tell you what the rock is cooking. Yeah. You know, it'd be awesome. Can you smell what the rock yeah? Whatever. Well, how many years did Pat Paulson run? Oh, but see that was the, that was. I mean, nobody knows what I mean, we're talking about, so but that funny, was hilarious. You know? Yeah, I just remember the commercials he used to do. Like he'd be talking about water pollution. He'd be standing in a, a thing full of dead fish. I mean, he was just yeah. He's that, very was, funny. that was that was funny campaigns. Great. Now imagine if he would have got elected. <laughs> I remember what's his face, the guy who wrote the book. Uh, Ralph Nader used to run. Ralph yeah. Nader, Ross Nader. Perot. Now, book, now I, I, it makes me wonder. See, Trump was a businessman who won. The friggin' presidency. Now Ross Perot was was remember he was a businessman. Hey, Ross Perot, this, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, that was Ross his Perot. pitch when he was running for president. Was a businessman could fix this country, you know. And and it makes me wonder what the what, what would happen if Ross Perot became president. Uh, I think been, it would have been a lot better than what happened when yeah. another businessman got in. Funniest yeah. thing I ever saw with Ross Perot is I had on a cruise ship once they had karaoke night, and this guy got up and said, "Now I'd like to sing Patsy Cline's Crazy." As Ross Perot. <laughs> and he's going, crazy, crazy. I'm loving you. It was like, it was hilarious. He got a standing ovation, but just, who would even think of it? And now, and he said it so serious. And now I'd like to sing Crazy by Patsy Klein as Ross Perot. <laughs> so I don't know why, John, I'm going to be in Florida next week. Can I borrow a gun? Yeah. Oh, I don't have, have any guns. guns. John, you have guns? John's got guns coming out of his. I don't guns. have any guns. I don't have a gun person. Out of his ass. I don't believe I have one gun from my act that when you pull the trigger, the barrel falls off. And I have okay. one that you pull the trigger and a flag comes out and says bang. So, so basically, you're quick straw McGraw. You see, you think you, I'm, you think I'm kidding, but this is a genius idea for a business. I'm I'm going to start a rent a gun. Rent a gun. You know, right? Put it in the airport next to the rent a car companies. Rent a car, rent a gun. And I'll be I'll be a zillionaire. I'll be a zillionaire. Do you have any Lugers? Oh, you want a foreign one. Okay. There you go. Well, yes, we have. Uh, but that would be under the luxury. Uh, you have to, you know, have the different rates. The imports. The I was imports. doing. This is not related, but I was doing a play. I was doing of Mice and Men. And my character has to reach Lenny? into his locker. Huh? Which character were you playing in Mice and I Men? I was Carlson. I had to reach. I had to reach into my locker, and I had a Luger, so they could go shoot. Oh, right, the dog. one that was going to go shoot his dog. Yeah. And so I had my dad had a replica Luger he bought in you know overseas when he was in the war, and they he let me use it for the show, and it was wrapped in a it was wrapped in a bandana in the locker, and it got jammed, and I'm and I'm supposed to turn around and go and hold up the gun and go got a Luger right, so I'm pulling on it, pulling on it, pulling on it, and I just pull as hard as I hey, can. Ring the, ring the but, gay bell, John. He's pulling on it. <laughs> I'm pulling on it. Go on, <laughs> ring it. Go ahead, ring it. He wants to hear it. Oh, God. <laughs> so I pull I pull the gun. So I, I pull and it rips. And the gun goes flying out over my shoulder, lands on the stage and breaks. The handle is plastic, just shattered. Right? And I and I and and there's a big like quiet spot. And I look at the other actor and I went, I had a Luger. <laughs> and the audience just cracked up. And that's I told you, totally can we just totally beat the dog? It. Let's beat him with a bat. Yeah, we, that's what we did. We actually smothered him. Uh, is smothered. what we did. We, we gave him some wasabi, I, and that was the end of it. Should have shot my own dog, man. My just, and men. Was, I always wanted to play Lanny, man. Nose, I would have loved to play Lenny, man. I would have been a great Lenny. You uh, would have been a great Lenny. I, I get that ten the rabbits, right? T tell about the rabbits, uh, Craig. Tell, tell me, John about. Wayne is Lenny. I'll tell you. I'll tell about the rabbits, Craig. 
I don't I don't need no fancy uh, food with I'll no tell you, ketchup Pilgrim. in it. I'll I'm, tell you, Pilgrim, I'm, I like I'm, the rabbits. I'm going to run off in those hills over there. <laughs> and I don't need no fancy food with no Come ketchup on, that, in it. This is gold. This is oh, I know what I forgot gold. to bring up. I know what I forgot to bring up. Okay. I know what I forgot to bring up. No, I do. I just remember. We were, we were, it made me think about it. We were talking about, last week we were talking about gemstones. And, oh, I don't the, know. If we, the, and I was the, looking up like televangelists, how much money these guys make. Oh, geez. I mean, I never realized that Jim Baker was the A list. $500 million. Like, that doesn't seem like a lot of money for these guys. Then Jim Baker made his money what 20, 30 years ago. You mean you're telling me he had more money then than these yeah. guys? Yeah, most of Jim Baker got, yeah. is still alive, you know. Is, most oh, of these is Jim most Baker of, still oh his wife died. That's right. It's uh, uh Tim uh, no and, and he's almost a racist because he has two K's in his name. He's almost a racist. Two uh you know, Jim <laughs> Baker K, made five hundred thousand, but on his five hundred million, five hundred million. million but after he took off his wife's makeup for a deduction, he would have made a hundred thousand. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> this fucking didn't, I mean, isn't he, he, if I remember correctly, this guy had theme parks. Yeah. So you, the, you know what's so, amazing? The downfall so of all the these guys. Notes. Women, it's like yeah, they do. Their own, their own sexual perversions are the downfall of all these guys. They all out there preaching. Jimmy Swagger, there, and every one of them is caught with a freaking hooker or Jimmy Swagger was caught masturbating with a hooker. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ, you can afford it. So just... after that, he changed he changed his number, his eight hundred number to one eight hundred wet fist. Yeah, so it makes me think: was Pee Wee Herman an evangelist? Huh? <laughs> he could have been. <laughs> Maybe Pee Wee. <laughs> they um... Howard Jacobson yeah. had the greatest joke about Tammy Faye Baker. He goes, "Tammy Faye doesn't doesn't go to Revlon or Avon or any of those any, or Maybelline. She gets her face done by Garden State Brickface and Stucco." I thought that was a great. That's joke. like Billy Crystal had a joke in uh, Mr. S- my favorite movie of all time, Mr. Saturday Night. He goes, uh, "There's a lady in the front wearing all kinds of makeup." He goes, "Lady, what were you at the circus when a clown exploded?" <laughs> <laughs> they, um... he, uh, I think he also had a joke. He said, "What if if, uh, if Tammy Faye Baker sleeps face down when she wakes up, her pillow looks like the Shroud of Turin." Yeah, I think you, you said that last week with John Mulroney. Didn't we do that? Did he yeah. say that? I yeah. think you did. No, I don't think I did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Boy, no, I, I didn't say anything about Tammy Faye. It's time for some Prevagen. It did. It's time did. for some Prevagen. Oh, you. man. Oh, it's starting. You need Prevagen. Don't eat jellyfish. Oh, shit. You need the jellyfish known All for their brain power. All that black is in my brain. Holy shit. Meanwhile, jellyfish don't even have brains. I know, but what? they got something that helps my brain think right. Dang, you can be jellyfish. Hey, you, know, so, you know what's so funny? That Prevagen, I was in the store the other I'll day. I'll tell you. I and like they had the it on the counter. I keep forgetting to buy it. It's $85 a month, yeah, right? Like and when you read the box, it basically says there is no scientific proof that this works. Yeah. I love that oh, shit. That's good. Uh, would you get into a plane if it said that on the side of a plane? There's no scientific <laughs> proof this will stay in the air. But see, that's <laughs> why you can't trust anything today. There's so many things, and you get all these great reviews, and 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 people are paid to say this bullshit, and then you believe it, you spend $85 and it does nothing. And then you got to think, well, it's just me because it probably works for other people. It's bullshit. Every there's so much criminal fucking fraud out there with these products they sell. But it's always been that way. Snake, we, you know, snake oil salesmen go all the way back into the 1700s and 1800s. It's always that's been that. The, way. That's true. It's true. But you know what? They didn't have this mass market back then. I did have you know magician. that when peanut butter was invented? Did you, did you know who really invented peanut butter by any chance? Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut. Yeah, Mr. Peanut. <laughs> It was real, man. No like it's really real. Do we both say well, that? I at the think same time? it's George yes. Washington Carver. It's not George Washington Carver. A doctor, a doctor invented peanut butter. Doctor, really? I think it's John Harvey Kellogg. Oh, yeah. Kellogg. Who else will make Kellogg? He invented peanut Flakes butter, and, and you know why he invented it? To, he, he invented it as a nutrition aid for people who had no teeth. Right. Well, that's actually a, actually that's actually a good idea. That's a Kellogg's right. cornflakes was created as as a health as medicine. As a, they had a sanitarium or, or a health whatever right. thing back it in was, the day. It, it was supposed to be a health aid. That's doctor, was. doc. There was two brothers. It was one was a doctor Kellogg, yep. and the other, and then actually the doctor who created them 
failed. They didn't, whatever. It was right. the other yeah. brother that right. marketed it and actually made a zillion dollars with Kellogg's. So, so if somebody hands you a jar of peanut butter and go, this is this is medicinal, you can be like, what are you fucking kidding me? It's Skippy, you know? It, it it's most, peanut butter makes you smart. Look, it made Mr. Ed talk. It's you know, absolutely true. If you can make a horse talk, and you know, fucking peanut butter is brain food. All right, All right. Okay. we have we have one minute till we have to go. So I think John found another. John looks like he has something he's about to say. No, he's no, so, I was so just smart say, with those glasses on. I, what I, was I know say it's is, like he's always like, like he's reading the encyclopedia. Over. What I was going to say is this thing about mm-hmm. these evangelists. Yeah, you know this guy, this psycho one from Texas is worth 130 million. He was all over going viral when he's going, "I will breathe the COVID out of you." <sighs> oh God, you know, that yeah, guy! You know that guy? He's got a face yes. like a devil. Yes. So anyway, he's got he's yeah, got come like here and 20, suck the COVID out of me. Wait, he's got 2,200 acre house, right, with two landing strips on it. To house his two hundred and seventeen million dollar jets, he has like a Boeing seven hundred seven or a Boeing seven forty because he said that he needed a bigger jump, he needed a bigger jet to his parish so he could spread the word of God more. Yeah, there's and no spread the word of Jesus play, more. Man. Uh, and Jesus, just... Jesus rode a donkey. All, yeah. all he needs, you know what? You want to spread the God more? Uh, and more when the donkey more? got tired, go Jesus on Zoom. would carry it. Go on Zoom. And as Richie Minervini said, you know that Jesus was married. It says it clearly in the Bible that Mary wrote his ass all the way to Bethlehem. Oh, yeah. Richie didn't say it like that. Richie said, you know that Jesus was married. That that voice. No, here's why Richie said it. Oh, you know, Jesus Jesus was uh, uh, Jesus and Mary were all married. John, John, do it as Ray Romano. Let's hear hear you do this. Ah. Ah, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus was married. He was married. You could tell. It said in the Bible. The Bible. Oh, yeah. The Bible. He, uh, uh, his, his wife uh, wrote his uh, ass all the way to Bethlehem. Yeah, do this John Wayne now. Do this John Wayne. Do this well, John Wayne. Let me tell you something, Pilgrim. <laughs> Jesus used to ride a donkey. <laughs> all right that's uh, yeah, that john Wayne would do probably say what's that. your best impression mine yeah do you do one G- uh, rocky probably but my favorite one is is actually barney rubble yeah that's i laugh barney like barney rubble, rubble. <laughs> hey fred guess what's going on <laughs> there you go i do i used to i used to do a lot if you practice but as though they like the foghorn <laughs> leghorn I remember I john what, what's your favorite impression I know all I can do is Ray. Ray, yeah, that's, that's Ray. it. That's I, Ray. Uh, well, w- w- it's that time, guys. What do you want to do? You want to leave? You want to do another hour? Yeah, I want to leave. I right. remember Jim Myers, right? Of yeah. course. He's not dead, so we I mean. Okay, no, no, but I, you know, not everyone knows. He was a comedian. We wish him well wherever he Jackie is. Jackie Martling was on a roast once, and he did his act, and Jackie the Joke Man, and Myers looked at him and goes, look at you. You look. <laughs> You look like a cross between Barney Rubble and I forget. <laughs> so that really works well. When cross, you cross what you said. Paul Lynn. Now, Paul, uh, what was his name? The little and short, Paul blonde, Lynn. gay guy. Oh, oh. Paul. Uh, Paul uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. No, Not no, Paul, no. Paul. Paul Williams? Yeah. He goes, He's like, not gay. Like a, that guy well, he was played, probably, he played he was like probably plowing person. more field than all of us. Come on, he wasn't gay, that little gay. Ring didn't the he bell. play like didn't he play very wasn't his character very effeminate? He no, played some no, characters he, as effeminate. No, he, I don't know. Not that I know of, no. I mean he was in he was in Smokey and the Bandit. He wasn't gay. He was just a shorter he's Pat McCormick oh, shorter okay. twin or brother. He just looked gay because he was fucking cock high. That was my favorite show growing up. Eight o'clock high. It was great. <laughs> Bring the bell. All right. All right. We have. We're out of here. We're out. We're out of here. When you hear the bell, come out dangling. Good. Okay. All righty. You can watch us anywhere or hear us anywhere on any podcast. Any place you get your podcast on the podcast playground. Apple Podcasts. Spotify. Google. Spotify. Audible. Anywhere, Apple, in everywhere. your car, in your bathroom, in your kitchen. Listen, Listen to I will kill you. Yes. <laughs> and you'll hear a new show every Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you know where we are and how to find us. All right. Here we go. And that'd be about it. That'd be it.
See you next week. Same bat time, same bat station. Bye-bye. Stay cool.